ओम ज्ञान तिमृंध से ज्ञानाजन शलाकया चक्षुरुन्मील ये नस्म श्री गुरव नम वंदेह श्री गुरो श्रेयुतपदकमल श्रीगुरून वैष्णवांश श्रीरूप सागरजात सह गणरघुनाथ तम सजीव साध्वत सवधूत परिजन सहित श्रीकृष्ण चैतन्यदेव श्रीराधा कृष्ण पदा सह गणलिता श्री विशाखान्विता हे कृष्णा करुणा सिंध दीनबंध जगत्पते गोपेश गोपिका कांता राधा कांता नमोस्तुते तप्त कांचन गौरांगी राधे वृंदावनेश्वरी वृषभानुसुते देवी प्रणमा हरि प्रिय नमो महावदान्याय कृष्ण प्रेम प्रदायिने कृष्णाय कृष्ण चैतन्य नाम गौर विषे नम पंच तत्वात्मक कृष्ण भक्तस्वूप भक्ता भक्ताख्यम नमा भक्तशक्ति श्रीकृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु निनंद श्रीअद्वैता गदाधर श्रीवासदी गौरभक्तवृंद हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे जन्मादस्तन्वयादित्रत चार्थ सुस्वराट तेने ब्रह्म हृदय कव मुयंतूर तेजो वारी मृदा यथा विनिमय यो मृषा धामना स्वेन सदा निरस्तुहक सत्यम परम धीमहि नारायण नमस्कृत नरं चरोत्तम देवी सरस्वती व्यास तथो जय मुदीर स्वस्तिस्तु विश्व कल प्रसीदता ध्यान तो भूता शिव मिथो धिया मन भद्रम भजता दधोक्षजे आवेश्यता नो मतिरप्यतुकी रीडिंग फ्रॉम श्रीमद भागवतम कैंटो टेन चैप्टर फोर्टी थ्री वर्स नंबर ट्वेंटी वन सो इन द प्रीवियस क्लास वी रेड हाउ कृष्ण एंड बलराम दे एंटर द wrestling area na and how they were seen by the different people in the sabha in that assembly or stadium according to their bhava and then we read few verses where it was described how the people they saw krishna's beauty in general these two and they were speaking about it so that is being described here so in this verse says pibantai va chakshu bhyam lihantai va jivvaya jigrantai va nasa bhyam shlishyantai va bahubi 
So he says that it was as if they were trying to drink him with their eyes and lick his body with their tongue and trying to smell with their nostrils and embracing him with his arms with their arms so that's how basically the intensity of their absorption in krishna that's what is being described that they were very much fixated on him with their senses all of them so i with eyes they were unblinking eyes looking at him and licking with tongue how will they lick means they were talking about him so that is the licking and they were taking deep breaths saje so trying to smell him and they are moving their hands that he is there look what they are doing so it was as if they are trying to embrace him so that's how they appeared so this is an utpreksha alankar one of the alankaras where some conjecture is made it's a type of upama simile so pibanta eva ityadini nayan vistara rasna akalana prafulla nasa swas grahana bahu prasarana linga gyapitani tirth so it says as if drinking with their eyes means their their eyes were wide open they were not dozing off or sleeping or some people can do that in the class so they were open and rasna akalan and with their tongue they were talking about krishna's activities and their nostrils were wide open so they were taking long deep breaths and bahu prasarana linge gyapitani tirtha so with their spread arms they were as if trying to embrace him but it was not really that they were embracing but they were just talking about him. and uchu parasparam tevai yatha drishtam yatha shrutam tad roop gun madhurya pragalbhya smarita eva pragalbhya smarita eva so they were conversing with each other everyone was saying something yatha drishtam yatha shrutam as they are seeing him because this is the first time they are seeing so they are describing how he is looking that look look at his hair look at his turban look at his eyes and yatha shrutam as they also heard because they have been hearing for so long about him and tadrupa gun madhurya pragalbhya smaritai so what were they talking about that they were talking about his form his qualities his sweetness and his boldness so as if these things were all reminded to them because now he is in front of them so various of his activities were reminded so they spoke like that so this yatha drishtam yatha shrutam is the avyay bhav samas we just did I think two classes before so it means anatikramya means only that much what they see or what they hear not beyond that yatha ditam yatha mati sabai shravi shami sut gosam se yatha ditam yatha mati avul explain to you about krishna story that i have studied and as i have heard so drishtam dhanurbhangadi 
So what is that? They have seen. So they saw that Krishna broke the bow. And also killing of the elephant. And Shrutam Govardhan Uddharanadi. So they have heard stories of Krishna lifting Govardhan, etc. Tatta Danati Kramme Uchu. So they spoke within what knowledge they had. Rupani Shyamatva Rakta Danta Panitvadini. And they spoke about his form, about his blackish color, and he has the white tusk which was smeared with blood because he has pulled it out. So some blood must have come out. When you pull the teeth, blood comes. So he says, Rakta Dantapani. So he had that. Dantapani is the samas. Right? Panu Dante, yes. And Panu Rakta Dante, yes. So, white tusk with blood on it. So, Gunaha Shauryadya and the qualities such as his chivalry. Madhuryani Hasita Apanga Arpanadini and his sweetness is in the form of his smile and his katakshas is seeing to the side. And Pragalbhyani Dhanur Bhangadeshu Akunthani and his boldness that he went just straight to the bow area and then he broke the bow, not being stopped by anything, Akuntha. Similarly, killing the elephant, he was not afraid that this is kingdom and there is a king sitting here, so he can create trouble and did not bother. And Taistat Prabhavadin Shrutan Smarita. So, all these activities reminded them of the other activities which they have only heard. This, what they are seeing, that seeing his color, his face, his hand, reminded. Ivaiti Anadhikari Anadhikar Arthan. So, he says the word Eva here means that they did not have really the qualification to describe because they don't know much about it. So therefore the word Eva is used not having the qualification. Etau Bhagavataha Shakshad Hare Narayana Sehi Avtiruna Iham Shena Vasudeva Seveshmani. So these are certain things which they spoke. That these two are directly the manifestation of Bhagavan Hari Narayana. Or they have manifested here by their Amsas parts in the house of Vasudev because they know that. Balram was known as son of Vasudev, but Krishna was known as Nanda Maharaj, Nanda Nandan, also Vasudev Nandan. So they know that he was taken from here. Esha Vaikil Devakyam Jato Nitascha Gokulam Kalametam Vasan Gudho Vabhradhe Nanda Veshmani. And this one, that is Krishna. He was born to Devaki, but then he was carried to Gokula by Vasudev. And in this time, while living there, hiding, Gudha means hidden, he has grown up in the house of Nanda Maharaj. And not only he has grown up, but he has become strong, drinking cow's milk and eating butter no cholesterol problem. These days people are afraid to eat butter and ghee. They say that you get cholesterol 
Vrajabhas has never got any cholesterol. So, Amse Naiti Tesham Tathayu Pratite. So, why they are saying that they are born as Amshas of Narayana? So, he says this is how they saw them. This is their own experience. They don't know that Krishna is the Amshi. So they are speaking, that was the meaning yatha sratam yatha drishtam. They must have also heard like that. Putnanen nitantam chakravatas chadanavaha arjuna guhiyaka keshi dhenuko necha tadvidaha. And he killed Putna. Putnanen nitantam, he brought an end to Putna. And also Chakravata, that big whirlwind, Trinavrata, the Asura who came in the form of the whirlwind. And also the two trees of Arjuna, which were standing in the courtyard of Nanda Maharaj, who were the Guhiyakas, two sons of Kubera, Manigriva and Nalkubar. And also the Keshi came as a horse. And Dhenuka, Dhenuka was an ass, Dhenuka Sura, eating the palm fruits. And similarly others who were killed by him. So Guhiyaka Shankhachuda. So Guhiyaka here is not the sons, but Guhiyaka here is the Shankhachuda who came and who was trying to run away with the gopis on the night of the holy. Remember that story? No? Sankhachoda. He was friend of Bhamasara. There is a village called Sankhi near Govardhan. That's where he was killed. That's why the village is called Sankhi because his name was Sankhachoda. Although Sankhachoda was killed by Balram, I think. Gaba Sapala Etena Davag Nehe Parimochita Kaliyo Damita Sarpa Indrascha Vimadakritaha. So he also protected cowherd boys along with the cows from the forest fire. Once there were, there were two times forest fire, once here on the bank of Yamuna, Davanal Kund is right here. That is when they had, he has chastised Kaliya, that night they slept here. And the other one was in the Ishika forest on that Sarkanda, which caught fire. The cows got caught, so he asked everyone to close eyes and then he drank the fire. And Kaliyo Damitaha Sharpa, the snake Kaliya, was chastised by him and he also removed the pride of Indra. Indrascha Vimadhakrata. So all he did this. So it's a small summary of his activities which we have already read. Saptaham eka hastena dhritodri pravaro muna varshavata shanibhyascha paritratam cha gokulam He held the Govardhan hill on his hand for one week and he protected the whole Gokula from heavy rain, wind and thunder, Ashani. So that's the protection he gave to them. Gopyasya nityam mudita hasita prekshanam mukham pasyantyo vividhan stapan staranti smashramam muda and then they talk about the gopis. Says that the gopis, they always look at his face. 
happily muda ashramam which is always full of smile and beautiful glances and vividha tapan staranti sma ashramam muda so they give up their distress because krishna goes then they feel distress in out of separation then they see his face smiling and they give up their distress then is the tapa this is tapa means the distress of separation tapa means heat also means austerity so heat in separation they give up all that by seeing his face and ashramam sma ashramam means little tired or ashramam without any trouble hard work asya krishnasya so vividhan tapan what is the tapa pati swashu adi tarjan nirodadin so different problems tapa here is taking it in the form of troubles the different troubles are that their husbands don't allow them to go and meet krishna or the mother in laws for those who are married gopis and they get chastised by them with harsh words so this is their tapa or their suffering so therefore all this tapa is removed when they see krishna ashramam yatha syat tatha and this is without any difficulty tatra tasam dukh gandho api na bhavet iti says the meaning is that they don't feel any problem in all this means they tolerate everything without much trouble vadanti anena vamshoyam yado subahu vishrutah shriyam yasho mahatvam cha lapshate parirakshitah so it is said that the dynasty of yadu maharaj in which krishna was born is become famous it is already subahu shruta it is famous and it will become more glorious opulent and great being protected by shri krishna so ayam chasya graja shriman rama kamala lochana pralambo nihato yena vatsako ye bakadaya so up till now they were talking about krishna next they speak about balram and this next one is balram he is the elder brother and he has beautiful eyes open like lotus he killed pralambasura who came hiding like a cowherd and they were playing so he got a ride balram got a ride from him so he ran and he got prasad and vatsako ye bakade and he also killed that vatsa and baka so the of course skill by krishna but not him sonena rakshito yadurvamsha shreyadikam lapshate iti vadanti the previous verse commentary is that being protected by krishna the dynasty of yadu maharaj will become very opulent famous great धेनुक वत्सकादिषु विपर्ययोक्तिर जनवादेशु अनिश्चयत सो ही सेज व्हाई इट इज ही सेइंग दैट बलराम किल्ड प्रलम इन दिस वत्सासुरा और ही किल्ड बकासुरा नेवर किल्ड बाय कृष्णा सो व्हाई ही सेज बिकॉज़ दे जस्ट हर्ड द स्टोरीज एंड 
so many stories, so many Asuras were being killed by both of them, so they are not very clear which one is which. Smriti, Pramosh, their memory. Memory got twisted sometimes, you get mixed up in your memory when time passes. So that's a mistake with memory. Janeshu evam bravaneshu Turiyeshu ninad sucha Krishna ramo samabhashya chanuro vakyam abravit So when people were speaking like this Chanura could not tolerate this. So Janeshu evam bravaneshu when people were talking like this. So Shatri Sanach is also applied in the form of Ninda. So that is Bravan. So he's, he said, what is this? These two guys are being praised by our own people. When you go to the stadium, there is a match, then there are people who cheer their own team, right? Now they even have cheerleaders. So he says, why these people are cheering the enemy? They should cheer us, right? These are all Mathravasis and they are speaking about them. So he could not tolerate, therefore he addressed Krishna and Balram and spoke the following statements. <coughs> While the drums were playing, Turiyashu Nidat Sucha. So when the drums were being played, then Chanur, he called Krishna and Balram that, okay, enough of your praise. Let's get down to the business for what you have been called here. So he speaks very nicely and addresses him. Hey Nanda Suno, हे राम भवन्तो वीर सम्मतो न्युद्ध कुशलो शुत्वा राग्या हुतो दिरुक्षुना So he is calling him as son of Nanda Maharaj. He is probably not aware that he is Vasudev Sun. So he said, oh son of Nanda, this is the old style. Old style in India was calling people by the name of their father or son mother. Hey, son of Kunti, especially senior people, they don't call you by name. And hey, Ram, so he's saying that, oh, son of Nanda and Balram, you both are very much respected as big heroes or respected by the heroes, Veera Sammato. We have heard like that, that you are very good in wrestling. Niyuddha Kushla Shutva and that's why our king have called you here because he wants to see how you wrestle. So please know this, that don't think that you have just come here for some victory lap. So you have to show some of your technique, how you wrestle. So Niyuddha, so Niyuddha is not the Roman Greco type wrestling, it is Bahu Yuddha, wrestling with arms, not kicking with legs. Niyuddha Kusulatvam Katham avyor ityatyahant. There is not hardly any commentary on this. So he continues, Priyam ragyaha prakur vantyaha shreyo vidanti vai prajaha manasa karmana vacha vipritam matonyatha. So he is also now warning them. He says that when you do pleasing act, for the king, then you get all auspiciousness. 
you means anyone, praja. He says the subjects, if they do pleasing acts for the king, with their mind, with their acts, with their speech, then king blesses them. And if they act opposite to that, then they also get the opposite result. So therefore, act to please our king, Kamsa. And don't be unruly, but show some good tricks of wrestling so that he will be pleased to see how you are good wrestlers. And he's thinking that he's going to kill him. Nityam pramudita gopa vatsapala yathas putam vaneshu malla yuddena kridantas chare antiga. He said, Generally, we know that you are cowherd people and you are always happy in the forest, tending the calves and wandering here and there in the forest and there you practice wrestling because you don't have much to do so therefore you do Malli Yuddha so you are used to this and in this way you play in the forest while tending the cows Kridantas Charyanti Ga so in other words he is also saying that you are just forest people and you only know how to do wrestling in the forest. Have you ever wrestled inside a stadium? Because wrestling in the village is one thing. Then you go to the city and they have mats. There is no clay there. So it is different. Like the wrestle in the villages, they just wrestle on the field, in the earth but here there is special arrangement in the Olympics there is no earth there there is mats so have you have wrestled like this when stadium is decorated so beautifully and so many people watching you and clapping shouting slogans waving flags and also music, right? Now also, when they are the cheerleaders, they also do some music in the cricket ground when somebody hits a sixer. So they jump and dance. So here also, this is separate than just Malliyuddha in the Vaneshu, in the forest. Tasmad ragya priya yuyam priyam yuyam vayam chai karvam he bhutani naha prasidanti sarva bhutamayo nirpaha. He says, therefore, you and we together we are going to please the king by wrestling together. And he says that when king is pleased, everybody is pleased because he is Sarvabhut Maya Nirpa. As you say, Sarva Deva Maya Guru, that Guru is the personification of all Devas, King is the personification of all living beings. So, therefore Krishna says, among human beings, I am the King. So he is the King, and if Krishna is pleased, then everybody is pleased, right? It's like you pour water at the root of the tree, then everything becomes nourished, green and blooms. So, you pour water, you please the king, then everybody is happy. And you displease the king, then you make enemies with everybody. So let's play, we wrestle together and then our king will be very happy and he will reward you. Things which you don't get in your village, you'll get here. 
So he is speaking like that. Tan nishamya bravit krishno desha kalo chitam vachaha nyudhamatmano bhishtam mannimano bhinadya cha. So when Krishna heard this statement of Chanura, then he was very expert in speaking. He spoke very expertly according to place and time. So place is Mathura and inside the stadium and Kamsa is sitting so he will speak words which will please all of them. So he is good. So he will pacify everybody's ahankara. Krishna did not. He could have also spoken in another way and show off his ahankara. But you see how nicely he will speak. He will gratify Chanur's ahankara in such a nice way. So this is, you will see Krishna's expertise and humility and not getting proud. Otherwise he can say anything. So he says, he accepted what he said. He actually praised that, yeah, what you're saying is very right. It's true. If we are here, we should please the king. And if king is pleased, then that's good for us and good for everybody. So you have spoken very wise words and I really appreciate it. So this is what he says. And he says, it's also true that wrestling, we love wrestling. Nirdham atmano bhishtam manne mano He said, yeah, wrestling is what we do all the time. And now we'll do it here also. And today we have a good good competitor. Or he's saying that, yeah, actually we'll do that, but where is the competition here? <laughs> so Prajabhojapate Rasya Vayam Chapi Vane Charaha Karvame Priyam Nityam Tanne Paramanugraha. See what he's saying. He says, yes, we are also the subjects of Bhojapati Kamsa. We are also part of his kingdom. And we are only Vanachara, we are just forest dwellers. But this forest also belong to him. So, Karvame Priyam Nityam, we will always do pleasing acts for him. From my childhood, I've been doing pleasing acts for Kamsa. I'm quite used to it. From the seventh day onwards, I pleased him. He sent many people to see me. I received them very kindly. And Kamsa was very pleased. That's why he kept on sending <laughs> one after another that this guy is so nice. I should send more people to him. And everybody came happily. So he says that I am very pleased that today I, I can see him directly here sitting. He was probably pointing out to him that he's there. And he's, of course he didn't tell him that he's my uncle. It's, it's even more needed for me to please him because he's my mother's brother. My mother will also be happy if I please him. So, Tanna Param Anugraha. And if we please him, then this will be a great blessing on us, that Supreme. So, Krishna who is blessing everybody, now he says that this will be a great grace of Kamsa on us, that he is pleased with us. Nyudha Kushlatvam Katham Avyor 
iti aha nitya mithi. So Krishna is saying that yes, we are always practicing, so we are good at it. We do more practice than you. Bala vayam tulya balaihi kridishyam o yathochitam bhavin yudhamma dharma sprishen mal sabhasada. So now Krishna is becoming even more humble. He is going one more step down. He says that we are just children. And you are grown up wrestler. Because there are different categories of the wrestlers. Flyweight, bantam weight, middle weight, heavy weight. Right? Different, different weight categories are there. So when you have competition, you have competition according to your category. It's not that small guy wrestles a big guy. So he says that actually we are just bala, we are children. And we will have wrestling with people who have same strength like us. (coughs) So that is proper. Bhave Nudham Madharm. Otherwise it will be unjust if strong guy wrestles with the weak. Big wrestler is wrestling with a small wrestler, that is not wrestling. That's injustice. And then all these people who are sitting here, who have come here to watch wrestling match, they will also become implicated in this sinful act if the match is not between equals. Because injustice is done by those, the sin or the sin of injustice accrues to those who do it and also those who approve it. So these people are sitting here and they are approving it, then they will also become adharmic. So we don't want that they become adharmic. So we should wrestle with people who are same powerful like us. Or it can also mean that actually you are not qualified to wrestle with us. You should bring some more people who can fight with us. He says, what are you? This will be very unjust if I have to wrestle with you. And then all these people will say, what is this? This is not a match. So please move away and send someone else. Chanura Vacha. So Chanura, he spoke that. So he says, Na balo na kishorastvam balascha balinam varaha liliye bhohato yena shahashra dupasatva bhut. So Chanur, he disagreed with Krishna. He says, you are neither a boy nor a youth. You are supremely powerful. And this Balram is the best of the strong people because his name itself is Bala. Bala means power. So he is the most powerful among the powerful people. Why are you saying you are Bala? He said, just now I saw that you killed the elephant in a play. You are playing with him. Lilia ibo hato yena And this elephant was not ordinary elephant. This elephant had the power of 1,000 elephants. Sashra Dupa Sattva Brut. So you killed an elephant which had the strength of 1,000 elephants. And now you are saying that you are just a child? Whom are you fooling? He says, I saw it with my own eyes. That means he was also seeing this when he was playing with the elephant. But still he is not scared. It is Kamsa who got scared. He did not. 
saw any counter in this. So, Malla Sabhasado. One question, Dharma. Yes. Why do we have to be able to do this pastor? Hmm? Whenever, wherever they have cure on summary, so this is fashion in Vrindavan, most of the places. I mean, it's done several times in Bhagavatam. And not a single time I see the effort of Agastya displayed. Well, in 12th canto there is. In 12th canto there is. Yeah. Okay, I'll check it again. Okay, thank you. And also here, not everybody is mentioned, so not only Agastya, but so many others are not mentioned. Asura also at the center thing, it's not mentioned, except the 12th candle, which I'm checking, but whatever it is, I can see. It's not a complete list anyway. So Sri Vishnath Chakrati says, Malla sabha sado, Malla sabha dhikritan adharmo maas prasedityato, balai reva sahakrida shyamo, anithatu adharmas prasedevaiti. So Malla Sabhasada means because this Sabhasada the, the members in the assembly they are not wrestlers but he says that it means that these people who have come here to see the wrestling match so therefore the word Malla Sabhasada is used and therefore they should not get any sin by seeing the wrestling match which is between unequals that is the meaning or this malla can be taken as separate also that is another way of saying because this malla sabhasada is a very unusual word can also malla that he is calling him that a wrestler bhavenu yuddha madharma o malla sabhasada so it can be addressed to chanura separated Balibhir So Tasmad Bhavad Bhyam Balibhir Yodhavyam Naan Yotravai Mai Vikrama Varshnaya Balena Saham Mushtikaha So he says therefore you should wrestle with us both of you and it is not unjust to wrestle with us because you are not small children, you are not weak, you are powerful. We are, you are a good match for us. So that's for he is given a logic. So he is given a logical answer to Krishna. Krishna had put his logic that how he is not qualified to wrestle with them and he says, no, no, you are qualified. And there is no injustice done here, there is no adharma. Therefore you should show your prowess towards me, my Vikrama Vashnaya, and this Mushtika, he will fight with Balram. So Chanura, he chose Krishna and says that you show your power to me and Balram will show his power to Mushtika. So this is how they were chosen and then the wrestling will begin. So Balibhir Madhvidhaireva Saha Necha Atratyair Balai Balai Ste Shantvat Bulle Tulya Balatva Bhava Titi Bhava So as if Chanur is saying that you should fight with us because you are a strong person and you should, there is no question of you fighting with children because they are not equal to you. So you should have wrestling match with us. And this is the end of 43rd chapter. Iti sarartha darshinyam harshinyam bhakta chetasam dasmasya tres chatvalim shu apiyajani sangata. So this ends the sarartha darshini commentary on the 
43rd chapter of 10th canto Janaki, you have some question? Yes, Radhe Radhe Bhagavati. In verse 35, why is Yudhiyam uh, in the Bhagavatana and not Yudhiyam in the Jivachana? What is it? 35. What is your question? Why is it Yuyam instead of Yuvam? Why is it Bhavavachana instead of Yuvachana? Oh, Bhavachana can be used for respectfully speaking. Adar Adhikya, there is sutra like that. When you speak respectfully, somebody then you can speak like tatra virajante mam guru vaha so a guru is sitting so instead of saying tatra virajate mam guru in singular right my guru is there so you can say tatra virajante mam guru vaha plural so this is common in sanskrit to use plural when you speak respectfully I'm curious to know if uh, the size of the body, the body size of Krishna has mm. not changed. But uh, so how this Chanura... Has not changed for whom? For Chanura. So no, no, Chanura is seeing him huge, muscular. Huge. That's what he said, Mallana Masani. Yeah, so he's really seeing him like... That's why I'm saying you are not a child. Oh, okay. <laughs> You've grown up. You are looking like Tarzan. <laughs> right? One thing I've been wondering is, what would have happened if Kamsa had not troubled Krishna and not invited him? So to me it seems very strange that he knew that this person is, um, you know, is predicted to kill him. So now he, he try, you know, he continues troubling him, and and tries to tries to kill him. This this seems to be so illogical. Um, no, it why is not, not illogical. It is because people have the nature to live, not die. Like you get some terminal disease. So then you say, well, this is, there's no cure for this, so I'll not try anything. People still try, isn't it? Even if doctor says that you'll die in three months, people still try. So it's like that. Because I'm, I, I've been wondering that, I mean, my thinking might have been that, you know, maybe if I don't trouble him, maybe he also will not trouble me. The, because Krishna never attacked him or never did anything inimical. Because he, he was just, just lived a young boy. Yeah. Yes, you see, you have to think from Kamsa's point of view. When Krishna he came here, he was 11 years old. So he's thinking when he grows up and he's son of Vasudev, so he will come and take this kingdom. So the kings, if they know, when our king has enmity with another king, attacks and takes over the kingdom, they try to finish the king, not that they leave him. And if he has some children, they want to kill them also. Otherwise, they know that when this guy grows up, he will come to take revenge. So Vasudeva and Devaki are there, and he has killed seven brothers. So he will, when he grows up, he will come. So before he grows up, you try to uproot him. That's what he's thinking. And Devaki and, Vas and Vasudeva, um, were they still in the prison now for 11 years? No, they were out of prison when that girl said that one who is going to kill you. Remember the story? Mm -hmm. He released them and he asked for forgive him, that please forgive me, I made a mistake and 
these devas also tell lies. Okay. And That's why they are sitting here. They were also watching this wrestling match. I see. So for the past 11 years they have been free people in, in Mathura, yeah? Hmm? They have been free but living in Mathura still. Yeah. Okay. Because they didn't want Kamsa to know that Krishna is their child. Although he's thinking, but they have not said it. Hmm. I think when Krishna will kiss, kill Chanur, then Kamsa will also speak again that arrest this Vasudev and Devaki also. I think so, if I'm not wrong. And that's when Krishna will jump and kill him. Okay, anything else? Hmm? Ugrasena, yes. Yeah. Yeah, when when he killed them. Hateshu Malla Varyasu Viduru Tesu Cha Bhojarat Nevariatas Vaturiani Vakyam Cha. He spoke like this. Nissara said Durvitto Vasudevat Majopurat. Dhanavarta Gopanam Nandam Badhanit Durmatim Vasudevastu Durmeda Hanyatam Ashwasattama Grusena Pita Chapi Sanuga. He said, Kill Vasudev also. Kill Nanda. Kick these boys out from here. All that he spoke. Before dying, he is speaking all this. He doesn't know that. He himself is getting killed.